In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a solution from a solid. I will be making 100 milliliters of a 0.500 molar sodium bicarbonate solution. Sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda, so if you check the back label, you'll see it says sodium bicarbonate, also known as sodium hydrogen carbonate. I placed some of that sodium bicarbonate into a beaker so it was easier to measure. I will be using a scoopula to transfer my sodium bicarbonate into a weighing boat on my balance to get the correct mass to make my solution. You must use a volumetric flask to make your solution, in this case a 100 milliliter flask. And I'll be filling it to that one line that is 100 mils. A funnel is going to help me transfer the solid. And you'll also need to have some distilled water so that you have no other ions in this solution. The first step to making a solution is finding the volume that you're going to make, in this case 100 milliliters, that's the size of the volumetric flask I'm going to need. Uh, what molarity are you going to make, in this case it's 0 0.500 molar solution, and the identity of the solute, in this case, or your solid, is sodium bicarbonate. So let's get started. First is our molarity. You'll need a periodic table, by the way, and a calculator. But the first step is what's the molarity? It's 0 0.500 moles for every one liter. So you would need to convert liters in milliliters because we're gonna make 100 milliliters. However, I like to put these two conversions together and just use this, 0 0.500 moles over 1,000 milliliters. So we don't have two steps, now we can just turn that into one. So you're gonna see me use that in this calculation. All right, so the first thing is by writing down that we're gonna be making 100 milliliters and our volumetric flask is fairly accurate. I gave it actually five sig figs here. Um, next is to take our molarity. It's 1,000 milliliters is one liter. And then we want this to be 0 0.500 moles. And now this is where we need to know the identity of our solute if it isn't given to you in a formula. So sodium is plus one. Bicarbonate, also called hydrogen carbonate, is, NA, is gonna be HCO3. So the whole thing is going to be NaHCO3, and that's going to be your solid, and that's going to be our solute. You don't measure the solvent. That's something you'll see in the demonstration coming soon. Um, I mass out the solute, and I dissolve it to the volume that I've chosen. Okay, so next, there's our solute. So right now, I'm just going to take a quick pit stop and say, what mole amount am I actually um, having here? So 100 and then divided by 1,000, and then times 0.5, I have 0 0.05 moles that I'm gonna be putting into this uh, volumetric flask. Next is you have to find the molar mass for sodium bicarbonate. So you'll need sodium, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbons. Uh, molar masses are atomic masses, so I'm just gonna start with the uh, oxygen. I'm gonna do really accurate molar masses because we're making a solution and I want it to be perfect. So there's my oxygen's mass total, plus the um, carbon, and plus the uh, hydrogen, <laughs> and then last but not least, the sodium. So normally I would just use 84, but right now I'm gonna use 83.978. Now that's, um, we want to keep that in the numerator because we want the moles to cancel right here, okay? And we want the mass to be the surviving unit in the numerator, okay, like this, okay? So that means this 83.978 with five sig figs is in the numerator, okay? So we're gonna get, that's gonna be our mass of our sodium bicarbonate. So then let's calculate it. All right, so we're gonna take, again, I'll just start over 100 divided by 1,000 and then times 0.5, so again, I have that 0 0.05, and then times the 83.978, make sure my button pressing's correct, and there we go, so 4.1989. Now, that right now has five significant figures. Right here, my molarity is where I'm gonna be limited to three, those are trailing zeros. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna round it and say I'm gonna have 4.20 grams of sodium bicarbonate that I'm going to need to measure out as my solute and dissolve in my solvent that I'm not gonna measure, but I'm gonna fill it to the line and dissolve it so I have exactly 100 milliliters. So let's get on to the demonstration. The next step in making a solution from a solid is massing out that exact mass that you calculated in your stoichiometry step. In this case, it's that 4.2 grams of sodium bicarbonate. I then placed a weighing boat on my balance, hit tear so that that mass is now zeroed. 
I then added in carefully my sodium bicarbonate little by little so that I don't go over the mass that I need. As soon as I got closer to the mass, I added less and less so that I didn't have to waste any of the sodium bicarbonate. If I would have had too much sodium bicarbonate, I would want to take that excess mass and place it into a garbage or a different container and never back in that reagent bottle that it came from. After the exact mass of the solute was measured, it's time to add solvent to the volumetric flask. In this case, water is our solvent, distilled water, and I filled my volumetric flask about one half full of distilled water. Using a funnel, I transferred the sodium bicarbonate from the weighing boat into the funnel. I then rinsed the weighing boat with the distilled water to get any possible sodium bicarbonate that was still stuck on the weighing boat. I also rinsed the funnel with distilled water to get any sodium bicarbonate that was on the funnel into the volumetric flask. I did another rinse just for good measure. The next step of making a solution is dissolving your solute in the solvent. First do that by swirling the volumetric flask by the neck, that's what that long skinny portion is called, and make sure that your solute is as dissolved as you possibly can. The next thing is if you have a way to cover your volumetric flask, in this case I'm going to use parafilm, the best way to mix your solution correctly is by inverting the flask and parafilm makes a perfect seal that I won't spill any. Invert the flask numerous times and then add a little bit more water to the neck of the flask and then stop. The final step of making a solution is filling exactly to the line that is on the volumetric flask. Do not go past the line or your solution will be too dilute because you added too much solvent. When a solution forms, it's common to see bubbles. Those are just trapped air bubbles in your solvent that are being pushed out by the dissolving of your solute and your solvent. So for good measure, it's a good idea to cover your volumetric flask one more time, invert it, and make sure that all of the solution has formed and all the solute has dissolved in the solvent. As long as your meniscus is right on that line, you can use your solution. Otherwise, if it's a little bit below the line, add a little bit more water so that your meniscus level is right on that line. These are all the volumetric flasks you can use in chemistry. There's a 25 mil, 50 mil, 100 mil, 250, 500 milliliters, and 1,000 milliliters, and there are volumetric flasks larger and smaller than these in chemistry.